What's going on everyone? Just doing a quick video to show you where everything stands as far as projects and what I'm working on. I just worked the last month uh, for the railroad and I had no time to do anything else. Made a decent paycheck, but I'm cut off again. So here we go. All right, my garage is a complete mess. So, the uh, lift right here is broken. I'm in the middle of fixing it. This little, uh, let me get it to focus. There we go. This little pneumatic ram is part of the safety. Uh, there's one on each side and uh, it locks or it controls the arm that locks the lift in position. So uh, the one that was on there, even though it had ALM stamped on it, it seemed to be the wrong part. And it wasn't working right. And I finally decided to fix it. Uh, I got a Chevy Love hood here. Um, I gotta clean that primer off, cut the uh, structure out of the inside. I'm gonna be putting a row of louvers on it. Uh, what else we got? Um, there is some junk that somebody gave me. Another cool, uh, another cool keg, old school keg. Um, those racks, I'm probably going to change them up a little bit and hang them on the wall so I can have a little more storage space. That is an ALH Volkswagen head that I pulled off of a car in the junkyard for my Jetta. Um, looks like it's in really good condition. Paid 130 bucks for that, so I'm pretty proud of that. Uh, which way should we go here? There's the Colorado. And you'll see I put some brand new tires on it just recently. Uh, I drove it to uh, Payson yesterday and it's having some issues with the uh, the pass lock, I think. Either that or the, the, the CAN bus, the networking. Um, one time it randomly locked and unlocked the doors and a couple of other times it shut off thinking the truck was getting stolen it fired right back up but gotta figure that out i don't know if it's the key or what uh let's see that's a ml320 it's throwing belts off of it um it might need a new water pump or who knows uh, i think the balancer might be bad tensioner could be old This is a Tahoe I picked up at auction just recently. I was using it as a roundhouse car, fully loaded, leather interior. Uh, runs warm, needs new tires, and other minimal stuff. I'm just gonna put that up for sale once I get it fixed up. Uh, then we got the old Ford right here. Uh, haven't done much since the last video on that. And right here. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. That's another Tahoe I picked up at auction. Uh, full of spiders for some reason. So I'm going to have to put a little, uh, one of those little bug can things to, before I do anything with it. Uh, this one has an engine noise, low oil pressure, probably needs a pickup o-ring and maybe some other issues. I haven't decided if I'm going to fix that or part it out. I don't know yet. All right, back here. There's my old Ford just sitting there waiting for me to work on it. This is some stuff that, this is actually what I picked up in Payson yesterday. This is like a 2007 frame section. Um, I needed the coil buckets and the radius arm mounts off of this. And the guy just gave me the whole frame. We cut it up so it fit in the back of the truck. I need that for my Super Duty axle swap. I don't actually want to use that stuff, but I need something OE like the original parts uh, in the meantime until I ever, if I ever get my CNC machine, I can build my own, uh, you know, draw them up on the computer and then, and then cut them out and weld them. Um, Got a couple of calipers right here. My axle didn't come with brake calipers, came from a uh, junkyard, they wouldn't sell them to me. I uh, got a drive shaft right here for the truck. Uh, I'll probably have to shorten that a few inches, but it's pretty complete. 
I just ordered a new carrier bearing and some new 1410 joints for it. I'll shorten it, paint it all up, it'll be nice. Uh, go back this way. That truck back there, let's see if we can zoom in on it. That's my buddy's dad's truck. I gotta put a uh, new flex plate on it. The, the gear for the starter is mangled up. Doesn't always wanna start, so. That's full transmission R&R, &R, just to change that piece out. Uh, I'll have to put a new rear main seal in it when I got it open too. Not a bad idea to do while you're in there. And then there's Chico. And here's the mess of my back shop. It'll focus. There we go. A um, little makeshift welding table I clamped together because I had to weld something for somebody the other day. Uh, some random leftover junk on that table. Uh, TDI motor that's supposed to go in the Jeep. Needs to be cleaned and resealed. And pretty much everything else is just crammed in here. Um, let's see if we can get back here. Did get my, my racks up steel racks. Now this is going to be the cutting table, um, but I need to find somebody who can fold and shear fairly thick steel. At least, uh, I don't know, I want to do like probably eighth inch. I got these legs uh, super cheap uh, from a business that was moving. So I'm going to make good legs for it. Bunch of random tires, GM gauge cluster I got to fix. Wheels off the Caprice. Nobody wants to buy those for some reason. Oh, and then there is a cheap uh, bead roller I picked up. I need to make some new dies for that and reinforce it, build a stand one of these days. There's a cheap desk somebody gave me. I wanted a real steel case desk, but that was free and I haven't found a steel case desk that's reasonably priced yet. There's Chico, just hanging out. Yay, Chico! And that's about it. Oh, I got some more junk back here. Right there, you'll see one of the Crown Vicks I bought at auction. And then back here, there is the uh, Jetta I'm going to fix, and then there's also another Crown Vic. Um, one of those Crown Vics is going to give all of its parts to that International. The wheelbase is actually identical, but I'm not going to use the frame. There's just no good way to hide it where the running boards are at. So I'll put the front and the front suspension and the rear axle uh, on that frame. And hopefully I can reuse the drive shaft. I may try and shoehorn that big two valve motor under the hood. I don't know if that'll work yet though. See what else we got back here. Oh, there's the yellow truck. I have a motor in the garage I need to put in that. The motor in, 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 that's in there right now, the LS1, uh, has a window that won't close. And then uh, I picked up that, uh, that K5 Blazer there. It needs title work, but unfortunately, because of COVID, super hard to get to the DMV right now.